today we're continuing with the soft lesson. This will be the next uh, two moves in section four. Um, in section four, we went from the second linking section into the uh, into this overhead strike. Then we did the step behind diagonal strike. Then the diagonal strike, step behind diagonal strike and then the overhead with the underarm strike. So this is what we're gonna end up. And I'm gonna be kind of at the end of, uh, working towards the end of this uh, distance here. But I'll move back so that you can see the moves more clearly. So ending up, we're gonna end up in this position here. And I'll do it uh, in the direction that the uh, move is done and then I'll face the camera so you can get a better view of this uh, particular move. Again, um, as I mentioned in the last video, this is one of my favorite moves because it's a very unusual move. I don't really see it too much in uh, much of the martial arts uh, clips I've seen. And um, usually when you find a new move that's kind of unusual, um, it kind of like opens up a kind of a different world of movement for you. So this is uh, one we can explore. So from the uh, overhead strike here, from the cat position and underarm here, you're gonna step to the right and circle and strike. You wanna do your slide as you're stepping here. So what's uh, unusual about this movement is just walking back and forth like that and then the circle for the strike. And again, like uh, many of the other moves, if you practice individually, you kind of repeat this uh, movement over and over until you get the feeling of the flow. So I'll break it down, but So it looks like that. So it's kind of unusual move, kind of like stepping around and striking, step around and striking. So the strike is uh, the standard strike, fairly horizontal. You can do like a little bit of a upward angle, or it could be totally horizontal. You stop by the shoulder. So again, from this position here, you're going to step. Imagine that you have a straight line going across from here. You're going to step in this direction first, and then kind of turn your foot out so that you can do the pivot. And then you want to pivot and strike 90 degrees. And then now you, want to, you need to do a slide. So imagine there's a pole in front of you you have to slide the staff back. As you step back, you going to turn the foot out and then do the pivot. So there roughly should be about a three foot distance, one step between the strike on this side and the strike on this side. And then you wanna wait for the strike do the slide back and wait for the pivot to create the power for the strike. Step in this direction, kind of winding up, and then the strike. Stepping in this direction, winding up, and then the strike. So the strike is coordinated by the step out. So facing the camera, you be in this overhead unarm position. And then again, I'm gonna step 90 degrees to the right and turn my foot out and do the pivot. 
and strike. Step to the left, pivot, strike. So the timing is as you step and you do the pivot and strike. And then from here, a turn and do my change in the grip, step, and the pivot and strike. Step, slide, pivot, and strike. Step, slide, pivot, and strike. So, so when you do a little bit faster, it's gonna look like this. You notice that as I'm doing this pivot, I'm kind of a little bit off balance, so it forces me to kind of catch my balance and do the swing, like that. That's again the principle where you're using a little bit of off balance to precipitate the movement. So just having that little bit of off balance I do the pivot, it reports to me to catch my balance and add to the momentum of the strike. But in the beginning, when you're doing it slow, you can just kind of be more in balance. So you get timing right, and then the strike. Step, pivot, slide, strike. Step, so I'm gonna turn that foot out, slide, Pivot and strike. Step, pivot, slide, strike. You just do it slow. And you slowly increase the speed. Also, there's a little bit of a lowering of the gravity in more of a high stance. For the attention, in the beginning, it's okay to look away like this, but then when you do it faster, when I direct your attention to the direction that you'd be striking because I'm stepping, I'm looking this way. But in the beginning, it's okay to do this. Just so that you kind of get the idea of kind of that 90 degree turn that you want to create. Because there's going to be that tendency to kind of shorten it and look like this. But you want to kind of emphasize that going around rather than just like that. I'm going to use this uh, striking tree stump to uh, show you what this move looks like if there was an opponent in front of you who are kind of walking to the right and the left. So um, we start from this position here. So I step to the right and strike. Step to the left, strike. So the slide would happen as you're doing the walk. So that's kind of uh, the idea of the function and uh, um, use of this um, particular move. So let's take it uh, one more move after that. And uh, this move is a fairly unusual uh, in the staff uh, form as well. So we're going to take it, we're going to um, do it in the direction that uh, we started off in so you can see. 
So again, you're gonna be from this high position, and you're gonna do the walk around strike. Okay, so this is uh, the beginning of the second move. What you're gonna do is you're gonna let go of the staff with the right hand, and you're gonna pivot the staff so it comes back at the same time that you step back. Also, you want to curl the staff in so it's like this. Okay, this hand is by the hip. Okay, so start from where we were in the beginning, the walk around strike to the left. From right here, when you're in this position here, you step back and curl in with the left, right is by the hip. And then you're gonna uncurl with the left as you do a forward open strike, open moon, not chick moon, or low down, and this is pretty straight. So the pivot point is, this is like forcing, uncurling down, and this is the pivot point here. And you're kind of in a forward bow stance. Okay, so again, from the high overhead underarm, you're gonna walk to the right, step around, walk to the left, step around, curl in and step back, hand right by the hip, and then strike, goes to the hand, right hand goes from the hip, and goes out as you strike forward with staff. So it isn't just pivoting like that, but thrusting forward for the uncurling and thrusting forward creates the power for that forward overhead strike. And you kind of turn about 45 degrees to the front. Okay, one more time on this move. We start from the overhead on the arm position, walk to the right and pivot, strike, walk to the left, pivot, strike. From here, you're gonna curl in, step back, uncurl, forward strike. So those would be the two new moves for today. So we'll have Two more moves for the end of this uh, fourth section. And then you just have the final section to do. So we're getting pretty far through the staff. By now we should get a good feeling of what the staff form feels like. And it's a very rare staff form only taught by Master Goring Ying in the, to the students in Portsmouth Square. And Bing uh, Gong taught a lot of his students the staff form. I believe the Rubos did it well. So, okay, enjoy.